Hello good people, welcome to the second part of creating a 3D portfolio website with 3JS and JavaScript. So we started this tutorial last week with the first part where we just created some basic scene with a rotating cube. And this is going to be now the part where we add life to what we had started. And so if you are completely new to 3JS, I recommend that you start with the first video. But if you are fairly comfortable, yeah, you can dive right in. So the starter template and the final code, if you want them, you can get them for just a dollar and a half. I'll be putting the link in the description below. And with that, I guess we can just dive right in. So last time we left off by creating rotating cubes. And in this tutorial, this is what you're aiming for. So let's just get to VS Code. So we start off by importing the rounded box geometry that you're going to use to replace the box geometry that you're currently using. And then afterwards now we can go to where we had created the box geometry and you can replace it with rounded box geometry and it takes five parameters. The first three being the normal box geometry, the third one being the segments and the last one being the radius of the of the cube then we can push the camera back mm, it's not very clear so let's change the color so we can go to where we declare the material and we can put ccc a gray color now you can see it's rounded cube then the next thing we need to do we need two materials for this project so i'm just going to duplicate the material we have this is going to be material 2 then we're going to be using mesh matcap material which just gives a matte texture onto the material so what we can do is importing a matcap the project comes with various textures so we just import the matcap texture then we can now load that texture onto 3js with the texture loader so we can now initialize the three dot texture loader this should be capital t and capital l and then afterwards we can create a property called texture and we can assign it to the loaded texture glass so we can do this dot texture loader dot load and then you can load the texture glass then we can come here and put it on the matcap property of the mesh matcap material and then we can remove the colors so that we can have the accuracy yeah and the next thing we need to do now is create the loop where we are going to be creating the cubes so the first thing we can do is we can create a number let number be equal to three so it's going to be a three by three cube and so here we can create the loop three times the first one to represent the x-axis the next one the y and the last one the z-axis and so we are going to be using IJK just not to confuse the naming and then the next thing we need to do is clone the box that we had created in the previous tutorial and so when you have cloned the box now we need to position it in the x y and the z axis we're going to be using this formula just to give some space between each cube and to position it inside a cube and so this is going to be x for i y for j and then z for k and then we're going to be replacing this formula and then the next thing we need to do is create a cube which is going to be object 3d where we are going to be adding every box that you have created currently so the object 3d is going to be the parent to all these at boxes that you have cloned so we are just going to be adding the boxes onto the cubes and then after that i believe this box should be instantiated before we get into the loop we can remove the positioning and then we can now mess with the rotation of the cubes so that we can have some slight rotation on the parent cube property that we had created earlier so we can do for the x y and z we start with the y which is going to be divided by 6 the x divided by 12 and then the z divided by 4 and then we can do some cleanup and then the next thing we need to do after adding it to the scene you can see that here yeah, now we have these cubes 
and then afterwards now we start animating the cubes so we create a method called animate cube we pass in the box and we pass in the positions that we had created for them and then we're going to be using gsap so what we do is how to import it and then you can do gsap to 2 and you're starting with the scale of the box so box dot scale um, and for that we can animate the x y and z so we come here to where we had uh, cloned the box and we call the method animate cube we pass in the box the i the j and the k positions and then going back to the method we can animate the x to uh, like 0 0.8 of the scale the y and the z the same and then the delay we're going to be adding a delay that is going to give a slight delay to every cube this delay is because we cannot use the stagger method because we are not passing an array then we give it the duration and easing and then it's going to repeat infinitely you're going to be using yo yo to be true and the repeat to be negative one after that this should be box to scale now you'll see that the cubes are animating with that slight delay on each and then the next thing we need to do is we duplicate this one and we can animate now the position of the cube this one is going to be position and then we're also going to create some custom formula to position the cube this is going to be affected during the scroll so we are converting it from the cube to a plane so we need to access so the x and the y this formula is just going to rearrange the cubes from a cube position to the top plane position and then we are going to be using scroll trigger and so with scroll trigger we need to initialize scroll trigger because it's a plugin so we can go ahead and register the plugin gsub.register plugin and we are going to be registering scroll trigger then we can auto import it so scroll trigger uh, yeah it will automatically import it for us then going back now we can start with the trigger it's going to be a project class that is there in the html page and then the next thing is going to be scrubbed to 0 0.2 so that it moves with the scroll and then when the project hits 40 percent from the top that's when we want the scroll trigger to work so you'll see that now if we scroll we have this animation so then going back what we can do now is animate the cubes inside the cubes method that is the boxes so we can do for each child child rotation x and then rotation y we can modify them according to how we modify them in the previous tutorial we're going to do the same thing so we are going to be adding time onto their rotations and so now you can see that the cubes are rotating each one of them and then after that we can now animate the parent cubes which is these dot cubes now we can create a method called animate parent and inside here what you're going to be doing is just animate the parents on scroll so that we can tilt the cubes when we scroll to create a flat plane so what we can do is when we scroll we can modify the rotation x y z back to zero and then we can just copy the scroll trigger and put it down below so with that we can call the animate part method and then what you'll see is that now when we scroll we have this effect and i guess the next thing to do is now create that glass effect we can lower the opacity and for that we also need to create the transparent to be true and then the final thing that we need to do is come here and say on enter on the scroll trigger we can override the scene material to the second material that we had created we had duplicated earlier so when we enter the scroll trigger we can use this material and on leave back we can use the first material so this is going to create that wireframe effect so we just copy paste and remove the two okay that's it for this tutorial remember to subscribe if you like the content and you can also follow me on twitter for updates and by the way i'm creating a course on 3js so in case you might be interested in applied 3js
3JS is a very great library, currently has even more stars than TypeScript and Angular on GitHub, so that says a lot. So in case you might be interested, you can go over to apply3js.com and sign up to get up to 70% discount on the first release of the course. So with that, I'll leave you and also let's keep grinding and meet you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.